What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope you like the intro to this video. Um, I will say I did not find this knife laying on a trail. Uh, I just kind of made something for the video. But anyways, um, let's get into how this came about first and then I'll show you the, the knife up close and personal and tell you more about it. Um, Bill tells me the Memorial Day weekend that we're going on the Jeep ride and he had something for me. I said, okay, cool. So I didn't know what he had, you know, always kind of getting each other some things here and there. Like when I went to the Smokies, I stopped at the Jeep shop up there and got him some Jeep stuff for, uh, from up there. And so anyway, a um, fella he goes to church with, and I'm going to keep his name out of this because he prefers just to keep it that way. It's not a business or anything. He does this for fun, and I understand that. Uh, but Bill was telling him all about me and everything. He made a knife for Bill. Well, altered a knife for Bill. And so, like I said, Bill was telling him everything about me. And he really saw interest in it. From what I understand, he watches the videos. And I may be wrong, maybe missing that a little bit. But from my memory, that's what I'm understanding is he watches the videos. So he said, hang on a second, and handed him a second knife, which was this one. He said, give that to Mid-10 Outdoors. So Bill did. And I want to say, if you do watch this video, I really appreciate this. I will cherish this forever. Um, I will be honest with you, since it was a gift, um, I may mess with it a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I'm going to keep this as pristine as possible because it was a gift. Um, but anyway, what he does is he takes these stock knives, and this is the, there's the model number of the knife. If you want to look it up, uh, you can get them on Amazon for about 69 bucks. But this is the, uh, the catalog number is a 9207. It's just a sheath knife. It is a high carbon steel blade. Um, I've always liked these knives. I always thought they were nice. I just never picked one up. They're, it's really good for hunting. It's a good hunting knife. It would make a decent camp knife. And honestly, I'll use any knife um, for any chore, to be honest with you. I will try it. But what he does is he takes, and I'll throw a picture right now of the stock picture of the handle. And he modifies these handles to have a better grip for a person like this. If you look at that, you'll see the grooves are much deeper and easier to grab hold of. And I really like what he did with this thing. It really fits my hand really well. As you can see, the grips are perfect now. Um, the way they used to be, they were much bigger. This whole part right here was much bigger, much thicker. He brought all this down and made it fit your hand so much better. And that's all he really did to the knife. He didn't do anything else to the blade itself. It's just all in the handle itself. And I think he really improved it and it made, made a world of difference. But what I also like is how clean he got it when he was done. I mean, that thing is clean. It looks like it's factory. It doesn't look like somebody's modified it at all, except for if you look at the stock photo. So anyways, I really appreciate it, Bill. I really appreciate it to the fellow that gave you this for me. Uh, it means a lot to me. Like I said, I will not ever use this knife anywhere. I may take it a couple times and use it a couple places, but for the most part, I will not beat up on this blade because I want to keep it because it was a gift. I have a couple other blades that are like that that I will not use. I've got one that I'll beat the crap out of till it breaks. Um, but then I've got a couple that I may use from time to time, but I really get scared when I use them. If you would like to see a future video of all my blades, sheath blades, let me know and I will do that video for you. I've got some pretty interesting blades that I can show you. Um, but anyway, once again, I want to I appreciate Bill and the fellow he goes to church with. This is really cool. This thing will be put up 
for now. I appreciate it. It's the 119, Buck 119, in case you had never seen one before. Um, probably have, like I said, you, they're all over the place, but to have one that's been kind of customized and was given to me really means a lot. Just like y'all mean a lot to me, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody subscribes. Keep subscribing. Keep doing all that you do. Um, may not be camping for a while till this heat subsides. Doesn't mean we're not through doing adventures. I've got a couple things in the works. Probably towards the end of July or towards the middle of July, I'll be taking a day trip somewhere. I'll take you guys with me. Um, but anyways, got some surprises coming. We will see you on the next one. I appreciate it. Be prepared.